Dear Nigerian government, the means of transportation for these goods are no longer safe on a Nigerian road. Why these business owners have a safer means for traveling for their business trips? The average man suffers a greater risk by traveling on the Nigerian road. It is understandable that they pay tax. We understand they employ thousands of graduates in their companies. On behalf of my generation, we really appreciate. We are proud to have them in our country. But right now, I speak on behalf of those who have been hospitalized. They are suffering from your Sussex. There are many others who are orphans. Because of this accident, because of your business, do you have any idea the effect of this? I guess you don't. It seems all these accidents don't happen in your community. Yes, you see all these happenings on social media, on newspaper and television. But doesn't it ever interest you? I guess it does. It truly interests you. But after some days, it vanishes away like nothing really happened. But do you know when it touches you most? It's when it happens to your own. I mean your child, your daughter, your son, your nephew, niece, grandparents, your close relation. I mean your fiancé, your wife to be, your husband to be. That's when you wake up. You take it upon yourself to do something. You become emotional and you don't ask anymore what it is that I'm talking about because you already now know how it feels. All these accidents happen every day and all we do is stare at them. Dear our honorables, noble men, citizens, youths and big investors, I think our government in Nigeria should look for a safer means for transportation of those goods. <laughs> Since the collapse of the Nigerian railway system, road transportation, which now accounts for about 80% of all intra and intercity traffic, has become the principal means of transporting goods and passengers. The government has made significant investments to rehabilitate Nigerian railway corporation infrastructure, but it still remains operationally inefficient. Every day, huge volumes of food items industrial raw materials, refined petroleum products, heavy and light equipment, vehicles and consumer goods valued at billions of dollars arrive at the African Sea and Airport from the USA, Europe, South America and Asia, especially China. These large chunks of imported goods need to be transported to several towns and cities until they reach the small retailers and final consumers. However, because of our country's poor and underdeveloped rail and inland waterway transport networks, almost all heavy goods are transported internally by road. So, this is the receipt for the 200,000 Naira you have paid in advance. As you are owing 150,000 Naira. So, as you can see, this is the sum of, I think, the what up, what up, people? It's your boy, Luck Udo. Thank you so much for watching this video. People call me that Delta boy. I'm volunteering to spread and teach education. It may take years, but I have patience. I hope you help me to help others. Please share this video, make a donation, and don't forget to purchase my book. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube, Lucky Udo. Thank you so much. Dear mom, Dear Dad, since 1997, the world has never been the same. I'm 21 years old this year. I'm living fine, even though we have been separated by death. I wish you were born alive to see me today, and I really wish I knew what your faces looked like. I wish you gave me a brother or a sister. I am doing a lot of impressive things, even though everyone you trusted disappointed us. I am now in the university. I've written books, I've sold thousands of copies, 
I've made videos, one of which I talked about common errors in English and the message to teenagers would have been your favorite. I wish you could watch them. I'm doing a lot of impressive things. I wish you could watch me. I am using my pain to create love for others. I am doing charity. I've helped a lot of people. God has been compassionate. I now have fans. They are few, but they really care about me. I love you, mom. I love you, dad. Till we meet again, I never to part anymore. <laughs>